Good day, mate. Now, what we've got here is a foul to communicate. No. This is the um, before um, saw. It's been up to, it was been in hollows, which I'd go to hollows. Um, it's been up to Fraser Island, they're doing some fencing work up there. Um, and the pull cord has come out. Now, I have fixed this spring in the factory unit. Um, I think the spring's broken because there's no tension on that at all. So we'll pull that out because the guy's going back on um, Sunday. So tomorrow's, uh, today's Friday. So he's got the day off tomorrow. You're heading back up. So I thought I'd just yeah, do a quick video. I'm going to replace it with a Chinese one because I happen to have that in the shed. I've got two of them. I carry some parts, things like this. Here's one of my mates. He's, um, oh, what's his name? New Star Construction. He's one of his sponsors. He bought me a few saws over the years. This is a nice bloke. Got work done, calling. He likes us fencing, landscaping. That type of stuff. So these are Phillips heads. Different. One's a... Well, one's a... Um, Torque screw. Oh, that's not really a problem. How do you lighten you guys? The, the shed set up for um, working on the soil is not for lighting people's faces up. I tried moving the light above my head. A bit blinded at the moment, still I can't see. It's a LED light of some type. And you look up at them, you, you get blind for a while. Like well, well, welding flash. Doesn't hurt, it's just, you know, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Your mother tells you not to look at the sun. So I'm just wondering if this has a problem with the soil or what, did it break? Or hopefully you haven't pulled it over and pulled it over. I will check the motor, pull the fish, uh, Pull the muffle off and have a look inside the motor to make sure it is okay. Good night. I had to do some work and I had to um, get some metal and his wife was home and I was just saw this sitting at the front door so I said I'll take it and go fix it tonight. As you do, so because he can get going and take this up, saw back up because he will need it up there, cutting trees and stuff. Now come on. Don't stick to everything. Yeah, spring broken. Oh, that's a pain in the bum. Last time. So, last time um, I was playing with this, we can have a lot. The um, screw that was in this part here. It connects up to the paws and the facade. That screw came out, the whole thing unwound and popped. And I had a lot of trouble getting the, um, the spring back in there. I watched a guy um, on the University of YouTube. He um, puts the spring in and hangs onto it. And you feed the spring in. Keep going around and around and around. So, yeah, around and around, around like that. Pushing the spring into the groove. Well, I did that about 20 times. But I finally got it to do it first time. But... When things play up more than twice, yeah, that's not right. The screw in here is back there. So much movement. Bugger. So I put a bigger screw in there last time. So it had more meat to um, hang on to. But I'd say that screw hole's no good. So we'll change to a replacement because this store has done a lot of work. So things go wrong. I replace the, um, the oil on it. That played up. We placed the um, pulse line. That played up the first time, which almost cooked the motor. Um, just, just melted the um, pulse line. I don't know why I did that. Before we didn't melt it for a hole. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Look at that. Nice plastic. Nice and clean. It's got the wrong sticker on it. Not the right colour either. It's more of a brown orange. But um, that's nice. All right, I'll make sure the wiring's where it's meant to be. Come on, go in the hole.
Well, I don't know if this will fit. Where's my torch? That lines up. That lines up. It does. But um, I'll put it back together and show you guys. There's a gap at the top. So not a hundred percent. Still should fit. Yeah. We got the. I'd say the plastic's a bit bent. Yep. So it's been squashed in transportation. Oh, so there she goes, I'm trying to put her on. You do that, you give it pause, and it'll find its way into the, between the pores and um, go where it's meant to go. Use it. I've never played with a big saw. There's plenty of guys out there who want to, so if you want to buy a clone, learn different things. Buy the small, the small source first. Make a mistake, they're cheap. This is going to be fun. This is going to go in the hole. Yeah, there we go. So I have to screw it in first time. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's it. There you go. Going in. Awesome. Oh, there you go. Just pop through there. Right, it's going like that. Right, it's the bottom one. Hopefully, hopefully they'll line up. I think they'll go in. Yeah, it's going in there. I just hope it lines up with the star part. It doesn't catch and carry on like this. So I'm putting everything. Just loose. Where is that? Oh, there it is. Still on it. Get a top screw out. It's good having spare parts, so I hate waiting. If you buy something from China. It can take about three months sometimes. Come on. So you're gonna buy them in a big, big um, lot if you can't afford. Like Christmas. Who doesn't like getting chainsaw parts? It's like me. I used to play with a lot of um, technical Lego when I was young. And um, chainsaws are very similar. You can pull apart, muck around. But they have more power, a lot of the power. Like you, with a chainsaw, you don't care about fuel economy. If you're V8, they, they suck too much fuel. You get shitty with it because it's wasting too much fuel. So having a V8 is fun, but it costs money to run. Chainsaw, you want to cut that whole wood up as fast as you can. You get in, get out before it gets too dark or cold or whatever else, or hot or burnt. In Australia, you get burnt sometimes. You don't cut always in winter. Around here, winter is usually um, the wettest time of the year. So, 
Maybe you guys can see that. Just there is a gap. Was I just down there? It's there. So the black plastic's hanging out. Um, I don't know if that's they're following the wrong pattern, but it looks like it's going to work pulling it over. So it's have to run with it, I suppose. It might straighten itself out once it gets hot. I doubt, I doubt it very much. But it doesn't look like it's that bad. I always put all the screws in before I tighten them up just to make sure they're all lined up and nothing's catching. But that's working nice. So I've now tighten all up. I'll check the muffler. I'll take the muffler off and check it. I won't film there because there's no point. Cross when I do the tightening again. I'm not a mechanic, but I've worked on nearly everything you can tractors, cars, trucks. Because I've never been a rich person or rich man, now I can't work. Money's everything. So you help your mates out, they help you out work like some sort of chainsaw work usually. All things at Walmart or whatever else. So yeah, there you go. Right. Oh, thanks for watching. I'll do another video soon.